Hi everybody, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've done a colouring chat. And while I know you wanted to see me finish off a picture in Sun and Moon Mandalas, I'm really not in the mood for that pattern book at the moment. Um, dust up here. I'm going to have to get a dust drop here. Uh, so I'm going to do one in a Demita Victoria's book, Pin-Up Models, because I really like this one. It's my kind of thing. And I'm going to do this one and I'm going to use both pencils and markers so um, I'm going to do the markers on the girl first and the bricks I'll probably do just with pencil but I will be doing pencil over the girl as well so let's get started so I'm going to start with a face and I'm just going to put down a layer of marker before I do any other colouring so you'll see markers today and then probably pencils in the next video if I carry on with it because you know what I'm like it's not going to be a long video. If you're wondering why that's looking really black at the moment, it's because these pages are black backed. Um, and when it's wet, it really shows through. So, yeah. So, I hope you're all all right. Um, I am so sorry I haven't filmed for a long time. I just haven't been in the mood um, really to colour and film. I've been reading a lot instead. It happens occasionally. Um, I've still been colouring little bits, but like only in like five minute, uh, ten minute increments, uh, just because um, at the beginning of last week Jennifer was a little bit poorly, and then we all came down with bad colds, and you know how it is sometimes. So, but I'm in the mood now, and I'm I've got a stack of whips under my desk that I'm slowly working my way through a little bit at a time. I've got three da three <laughs> three works downstairs which I am working on as I go. Um, and uh, yeah so it's all good fun so but everybody's fine now um, I've still got to edit together my reading wrap up which I will probably do tomorrow and then that will be uh, going up on Wednesday this is theme film Tuesday uh, Monday and we'll be going up Tuesday so it'll be Tuesday when you're seeing this so Obviously we're all back at work and it's hard going, I can tell you. Work's okay, it's just boring, isn't it? You know, we'd rather be colouring and reading or me taking photographs, developing photos, editing photographs if they're digital ones. But we can't always do what we like, we've got to do what we need to do to, to survive, to make money and to, you know, live basically. We've got to be able to pay the bills and buy the food. Yeah. So, so as you can see from her face she's gone a normalish colour she's still a bit damp so. <laughs> so I'm sorry my shadow from my hand I am left handed I've got a light to my left just to make it look I should put the camera on my left really but I find it awkward that way as well um, I might try it that way next time, I just might have to move the light, so I don't know, I might have to put it further back. But yeah, I like this book, I'm glad I picked this book up. So what have you been up to? What have you been colouring? Anything? Anything exciting? Have you got any new books? Um, so far I've only got three new books this month, I've been ever so good. Um, we've got my car tax to pay at the end of the month, so there's that as well. Um, which is never fun. But hey, you know what it's like. Um, yeah, so I've got that. Oh, I'm going to have to move something out of the way. I've got something under my desk and it's... Uh, taking up space that I need to put the book in. Oh, I'm going to have to pull this back a bit. Excuse me, I want to do her legs. <laughs> They're just here. Uh, yeah, so... you know I've had three sales today on eBay which is great 
it is uh, I mean I haven't listed much I've got to get some more listings up I've got plenty of stuff to list it's just having the time to do it but I have got stuff to list so and I have got a load of stuff that I can put live it's just oh with everything else it's so hard to know what to do first so Okay, number 14, Vermilion. Let's find it. 11 for all the others. For her skirt. And the tie around her neck. So I'll do that bit fast. So yeah, I do like the colours. I do like this book. I like the pictures. It's very, very me. And of course, this is a new book, so it gets it off of my shelf. It's part of Calama Horde, May 2021. Oh dear, there's so much. My hoard was going down nicely and then of course I had that bonus and that extra money and it's just exploded again. So while I'm not concentrating too much on colouring my hoard at the moment, I am trying to get the ton of whips under my desk sorted uh, because there's a lot of them. Yeah, I started a lot last month that I didn't finish, anywhere near finish, so, yeah. I'm trying to use the um, pastel ones as well on some of that, if I can find them, <laughs> they're here somewhere. But yeah, I'm going to do a skirt this red as well, so it all matches nicely. But it, yeah, it's, it's uh, been an interesting week, so but everybody's fine and, and well and healthy. I'm still waiting for my second Covid jab, which is at the end of the month. I've got a dentist appointment finally booked now. I have got a form to fill in an email back to them, so I'll try and do that tomorrow. Um, you just normally fill it out when you're there, but obviously they're trying to um, whoops, keep your, you know, uh, contact uh, limited, obviously. You can't really wear a mask in the dentist's because the dentist's going to be looking in your mouth, so... But they always wear a lot of PPI anyway, they're very well protected and quite rightly so, and I, you know... At least by the time I've had that, I will have had my second jab, so that's good. So I don't know, have you all had your Covid jab or are you not having it? And if not, why not? I mean, I'm not going to judge you, it's entirely up to you. I mean, my brothers are in New Zealand and I don't think they're rolling it out over there because they've eradicated it pretty much. But of course, as soon as they open up the borders, it's going to start coming in. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Not too worried about going into these spots because they're going to be black anyway. So. <laughs> oh dear, what am I like, eh? I think it's just a matter of trying to be sensible and careful and I was in uh, uh, the shop Lidl's the other day talking to the checkout girl and she was saying because Jennifer wanted to wear a mask to be like mummy and daddy so we let her wear one it's not gonna you know she takes it off if she feels like it so and the checkout girl said oh, it's very sweet I said yeah she just wants to be like mummy and daddy I said she keeps it on really well and she said, yeah, I said, and she said about there's lots of adults that don't want to wear one. I said, I don't particularly want to wear one, but I wear one for everybody, you know, for everybody else. So I'm chronic asthmatic as well. So if I can wear one, and she said, seriously, you could probably get away with not wearing one. I said, yeah, but I wouldn't because I, I don't believe that's right. If I can cope with it, I'm going to wear it and I can. So I do. I wear, wear one. So... Um, I mean, I'm not adverse to people not wearing masks because they've probably got a very good reason not to. But some people don't just want to don't want to wear them. I mean, it's not for me to say what people should do. You're responsible for your own actions, and I'll I'll behave how I see fit. And 
I have no problem with other people doing that, but if you're not wearing a mask, stay away. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, obviously, I understand people might not want the the uh, vaccine because it's not been and uh, as many rig you know rigorous tests as a lot of places. You know, you know, I don't know how. You know, it is what it is. I just want. I don't really want to go back to normal 100% because I don't want to go back to the office. Um, the very thought of it makes my anxiety level spike. So, but that's the way it is. Yeah, I mean, things are slowly opening up. The pubs are open now. They opened up, I think it was the last Monday. And uh, we went on the Monday or the Monday before. It, it, it's... The other weeks are all blurring into one. And next week, next Monday, as long as things are fine, we, they hopefully will be opening for indoor drinking and dining, which is great because I'd love to go out for Sunday lunch to my local, the Prince of Wales. It's a lovely pub. They do great food, I'm not going to lie. They do absolutely fantastic food. So I would love to get back there and have a meal. You know, lots of places are reopening. Um, they're talking about refurbishing our office, and so, but that's not till October. Yet they want to stop putting people back into the office in September. So it's going to be interesting to see how that refurb is going to go ahead if they do the, the refurb uh, or the people back in you know uh, it's gonna be interesting but I'm not gonna worry about it at the moment I've got a nice week away hopefully coming up soon and as long as there's not a big spike in infections we should be able to get away hooray as like I said even if we have to book a slot for the pool I don't mind as long as I can go on my holiday just get a week away and have a break and see something different you know I know you've got to book online for tickets for various places and I don't mind doing that. I'll do that before we go and print out all the information. So we've got it. So um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Like I said, I'm not worried about going to these spots because they are going to be black. So it's going to be going over it with the colour that you're not going to see the red through. Um, so I am... For those of you who like the weekly vlog, I am filming one this week on my phone. Um, so I'm going to have to see about transferring it over to my computer via my uh, cable, which is fine. I can do it. Um, it's just faffing with that. I don't like to do it. I like to do it on my um, camera, but I can't find it. It's in the house somewhere, unless Jennifer put it in a bin and then it's absolutely gone. I will not be happy because I can't afford to replace it and it wasn't cheap. But uh, and keep looking for it. She hides things in places and then they turn up eventually. I don't know why. Normally she takes stuff under the table, it's not actually under there. But I'll, if it's around, I will find it. It's either up here or in the living room somewhere. I'm just so busy trying to do everything else. Like tomorrow afternoon, I've got to go to the shed and pack these three orders I've got. I'm still waiting on payment for one, but I don't think they're going to pay. So I'm going to give them till Wednesday and then I'm going to um, cancel the sale and uh, relist the item. I might put some more listings up tonight, one or just one or two together. What I don't want is them to be dropping off and me having to re-photograph everything because it's a nightmare. And the other thing I can't find is I can't find my pink book with all the word the, the measurements in it for the stuff I've got photographs for. Um, but again, I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Um, they're sitting on my phone, they'll be fine. I can always put them onto my other laptop and upload them from there when I find it. So it's just annoying because it could be something that might be selling. So I've sold a pair of shoes, a blouse and a camera today, which I'm very happy about. So it'll be very nice. I'll get them packed up tomorrow and put some money in my drop and go account and take them down on uh, Wednesday morning. 
so far May's been quite a good month best month I've had in a while I mean yes I have been listing things here and there and I'm sending out offers daily so there is movement on the account and I do buy stuff every now and again from eBay up uh, from a personal I don't tend to buy I, I do buy stuff to sell but usually it's job lots of clothes that I've been you know put together for that particular reason um, but I'm actually trying to get through what I've got I mean I haven't been to a flipping charity shop in months Paul went in one the other day so there's nothing much in there and it's all overpriced he said he went in there and the CDs were a pound, which is not bad, but when you go to another shop and they're 20 pence each, it's like, really? He bought a three disc set for 25p the other day or something like that. It was ridiculous. They seem to want um, donations of clothing at the moment, so. They don't really want anything else but clothing. They want, I think, because clothing is I don't know it does sell I tend to try and stick with the um you know I do have a look but I won't pay too much for an item because I know I'm gonna sell it cheap I still got a load of stuff that was that was given to me free so it, it doesn't owe me any money so I can sell it as much or as cheap as it is and it depends. I mean, none of what I've got owes me anything because I've, I've made a profit on it all. So, and I'm not paying anything. So if I was, I'd be more inclined to be listing daily and getting as much money in as I could. But because I'm only, I'm not buying anything. I'm just doing what I've already got. It doesn't mean to say I'm not looking. I'm looking at the auctions on the weekend to see if there's anything of interest in there. Um, There is, but it's all, I think people are paying high prices at the moment but simply because they're, a lot of these people are resellers that buy from there and they've uh, run out of stock so they're paying a bit more up than they did just so they've got stuff to get to sell and maybe yep, that's fine but at some point they're going to have enough stock and not want to buy anything and the prices will drop again so I've got enough stuff to to do that I also have a few contacts that I can contact for stuff if I do really, really run out or get low. And if it comes to it, I will go to the charity shops in Newport and have a look. I haven't been to Newport since March last year. It's been way over a year. We used to go nearly every week. Well, every other week. Now, Newport, there's not a lot in Newport. It's a, a town that's really suffered. Um, Fry's Walk opened and it was great but a lot of the shops are dying now because of, of the Covid pandemic and the shutdowns. Uh, Debenhams was there, that's obviously gone. I think Topshop's gone. Oh, I don't know, loads of those sorts of places. I mean like I said, I haven't been there for so long so I just don't know. I'm going to have to have a look. Just trying to make sure I've got enough to be going on with, and I have. I've got lenses, I've got cameras, I've got clothes. I'm still trying to figure out. I've got jewellery. Uh, some of what the, the lenses are for what kind of camera, because I don't know. Like I said, I've worked out that the Miranda ones I've got. I've put this in the weekly vlog. I know that they're for the Pentax. Their Pentax came out, so that's fine. I've got you know, I've got cameras that are Pentax came out, so I can I, you know, I try and um, on the cameras I've got I need to make a list really so that I know that if I find one I can mark it and uh, then list it if I want to so I've got the two Miranda lenses I could list if I wanted so I don't really need to, to keep them because I've got plenty of uh, Pentax K lenses because I've got 
a Pentax K, oh, well I had a Pentax K camera but it doesn't work anymore came out so hopefully I'll have another one soon because I found one in my box of stuff that was missing a back not a back um the battery holder and I ordered one on eBay should be coming this week so I've got the battery anyway because I would have them in for testing and uh, if it works I'm going to keep that so I can use my uh, lenses it gives me a, a, can, a, a Pentax camera which is nice even though it would be an autofocus you can still use the uh, manual focus lenses on it it just means changing the setting a little bit I'll have a look at the instruction manual Get in there now. Mind you, we've done 20 minutes and we haven't done much. I'm not going to do it all. I'm only going to do about 30 to 35 minutes today just simply because I wanted to get a video out for you because I haven't done one for a while. So I'm happy to start one today and then carry on with it. I might go back to the pattern book on another challenge chat. Just see how I feel. I just want to colour in something different for a change. I wanted to colour one of these. But... Uh, We'll have to see. I got, like I said, I've got so many whips on the go. And some of them is just me being lazy not doing them because they, they they need watercolours or they need water to finish them off. Um, so I've got a ton of books under there. It's getting quite big, that pile. So at the end of the month, I whack all the whips from the previous month under there to do. So <laughs> I don't really want to put any more under there this month. I want to get them all done. So. I want to try and get rid of some of those and I'm not going to start as many this month. So I know I've got three downstairs but two of those were holdovers. I've got three books downstairs, four whips uh, from last month. One's a new one so I will uh, have to see about uh, finishing it. It's just because I've, I've tried to do one of, one of the Jade Summer books I've got that I haven't coloured in so it's another one off of Colour My Horde, May 2021. Um, sometimes it is hard work just deciding you know you start something and then you sort of lose interest in it and you end up with a ton of whips I hate having too many whips I've had a whip in my Dracula book for over two three years and every now and again I do pull it out and do a little bit on it so that's another one I need to get to I really want to do one in Fragile World by Kirby but I don't want to start it until I've got some of these whips out of the way because oh, I know how long it's take me to do and I know it's going to end up a whip parade. It might not. I might be able to get it done quickly. I know what one I want to do and I know what I want to do with it so yeah, it's a matter of me yeah getting on with just doing it I mean I always say that they are intimidating some of Kirby Rosanna's but there's nothing wrong with how you colour if you colour it and it's a mess it doesn't matter it's it's art and there's nothing wrong in art there's no wrong in art um Jennifer got hold of well she wanted to colour in my aliens book because she came in from nursery one day the week before last going there's aliens in the clouds they're coming I, I don't know what one of the kids have told her but she was really freaking out about it I was really upset and then she calmed down and she said, I want to colour aliens. And I said, well, I've got my space book. Do you want to colour in that? And she said, yes, please. So I showed her and I said, do you want to colour in here? And said, yeah. And she just scribbled over two pages, but in a way that I think I can do something with it. So I'm not too worried about it. It's just, again, it's going to end up in my whip pile. That's another reason why I don't want to borrow it by too many books this month my whip piles growing my hoard is growing and while it's lovely to have them to show you it is a bit um mad to keep buying them when you're not colouring them and I do like having them to show you and I do like collecting the books myself but it is it's, it can get out of hand. There are, you can get so many that I mean I'm not going to stop collecting them obviously because I do like having 
the books. I love having my books. It makes me happy collecting them. I, I'm just running out of space. I'm running out of space. I'm out of space on my to be coloured pile shelf. Um, there, it's full. This one was sitting on top of um, the other ones, and there's another book sitting on top of the other ones. So I'm gonna. I want to try and work at it. I mean, I like I said, I've got three books this week, but only one of them this month rather. Only one of them actually goes on that shelf. The other two are Colour in Heaven, which has its own space, and Jade Summit, which also has its own separate shelf for uncoloured books and that's a huge stack and I want to try and get that down as well to be fair I, I am colouring in one of those it's one of the ones that's downstairs so that's something ok let's do these spots now but yeah so I do want to I've just gone out of focus try and a get the whips down and b not buy as many books because I do like to colour in oops, the books I've already coloured in as well and it's very difficult because I'm I obviously want to colour in the books I've already got and that's why I end up with all these whips so I am trying to get, get rid of all these whips or some of them I think is I've got one that's really nearly finished and then I've got another one that's not that far as well uh, so I really want to try and get them done I'm just keeping an eye on the time because we're nearly at the half hour mark and as you know the camera turns off then and I don't want to lose any conversation with you I like this picture I do, I love it. A really nice, nice book this is. So you could have left them white, but I'm just going to do them black. Okay, so the battery's about to go, so I'm going to change my battery and we're almost at 30 minutes, so I'll do another 5 to 10 minutes after I've changed the battery, so I will be right back. Right, that's the battery change, let's get back to it. Oh dear me, it's all go round here lately. There's a, a pub just up the road in Rogerston, it's a lovely pub, it's called the Tree Grounds, or the TA for short. I've been there over a hundred years. And one person's making their life miserable complaining to the council about the noise from the beer garden. They haven't lived there that long. Certainly haven't lived there a hundred years. It's like, for fuck's sake, people, if you don't like the noise from a pub, don't move into a house near to one. Now, we've got a pub at the top of our hill, the Prince of Wales. I love the pub, it's great. And our road is one of the main roads to it from Risker. And you do get people laughing and joking, walking down the hill loudly I'm not gonna lie it can be annoying especially when you've got a child trying to sleep in the room um, overlooking the road however it is what it is it was there before we moved in it'll be there when we move out at least I hope so it's sometimes it's nice to hear people laughing and joking and singing it's when they're shouting and swearing it's not so nice um, but I mean seriously come on people it's a pub They've literally had to stop people from uh, singing happy birthday to their, um, a member of the family because they're afraid that if they get one more complaint, the council will shut them down. But they'll ask Newport Council for you all over. They're bloody useless. It makes me so angry because it is an old pub. It's like I say, it's an old man's pub, really. It's where the old fellas go and meet their mates and have a drink um, and socialise before going home on their own because their missus have gone, died or something like that. It's a friendly pub where you can take your family. I've, I have been in there for a drink a couple of times. It's a lovely place. Oh dear, sounds like Jennifer's having a, a night terror. So if you hear her crying, I might have to go and check, but... Uh, I don't think it's she's awake. It doesn't. That's a night terror cry. 
you can recognise them, but I might go and check it in a minute, so. It's horrible because you just have to listen to it. So yeah, I'm really annoyed about that. So there is a petition, I have signed it on change.org for the to degrams. And I have signed it because I would be very sad if that pub closed because of one bloody person's vendetta for no reason. And that person better watch out because if she makes one false move, they'll be complaining to the authorities about anything that she does wrong. Yeah, she's asleep. I'll check. I'm not going to be doing much more tonight because we've been going for just uh, 30 minutes, so just over. That's so. night terrors. I hate it because it sounds all wrong for you. Makes me sound like I don't care because I'm not going to check on her, but there's nothing I can do. If she starts yelling for me, that's a different matter. But if I went in, she wouldn't even know I was there. But I recognise that noise. It's because she's probably overtired again. Dear. I am just going to check on it and make sure she's alright. I'll be right back to finish this video in a minute. Okay, I'm back for a few minutes. Yeah, Jennifer's fine. She was awake. Um, I don't know whether she had a bad dream or she said her leg was hurting. So, rubbed her leg. She's fine. Thought I'd pop down and go to the bathroom and get myself a drink. So, make myself a cup of tea as I'm going to be reading. After I've done this, I'm only going to do these spots. There's still loads to do on this picture. And uh, some of it will be pencils and some of it will be markers, but uh, we'll probably have a longer go next time. I just, I really wanted to check in with you guys because I, I do miss, miss it when I can't video. And I'm like thinking, I need to video, I need to video. And I'm like, come on, I'm like, I don't want to. It's late, I want to go to bed, so. Tonight I was up earlier, so it was easier to do. It, it is very hard trying to work a part-time job, look after Jennifer and Paul, cooking. He does washing up, washing, tidying, um, and all that stuff. And then also running a eBay business and making this and reading. And at least I don't have time to be bored. I, I am never bored. I will be honest with you. I am never ever bored. I've always got something to do. So when I do sit down and I have nothing to do, it's nice. It's, I don't get bored still. It's just I just sit and I relax and I think and I daydream, but I am not bored. I sometimes get fed up if I'm waiting for something. Like sometimes when we do a quiz, they take a while to get themselves going because they're doing, I don't know, what, something happens. And I'm like, oh, for God's sake, get on with it. I'm fed up. I'm not bored, I'm just annoyed that you're taking so long to get on with what, you know, what we're there for. But that's okay too, it's not the end of the world. So. So I really don't have time to get bored, I'm always doing something. I mean this afternoon I was watching videos on my phone. And Jennifer was sitting on me watching videos on the TV and I just fell asleep with her, with her watching TV. And if she wants something, she wake me up and I'm like, oh, okay. I don't get nasty with her or anything like that. Um, if she wakes me up because she wants a drink or to go to the bathroom. She, she knows when she's annoying me because I'll go, what do you want now, Jennifer? And she'll be like, you happy? I'm like, yes. And she goes, I make you happy. I'm like, yeah, of course you do. <laughs> She's so funny. They say, you're not angry with me. I'm like, no, I'm not angry with you. It's just, sometimes it's like, you, you do one thing and then you stop, sit down and then it's immediately, mummy. I'm like, yeah. Are you happy? Yeah. I make you happy? Yeah. Can I have some? Of course you can. I don't know why she's like that. She's funny. And he put it to bed. I love you, Jennifer. And she's like, I love you too. I'm like, oh, see you later, night night. She's like, night. <laughs> she's so cute. 
so sweet hearing your daughter say I love you too and you tell her you love her it's lovely and I'm sure it'd be the same if she was a boy too I'm sure it's lovely <laughs> I mean I know it's lovely so I remember her the first time she ever smiled properly at me you know and it was she was lying in her Moses basket I don't know how old she was she was lying in Moses basket downstairs she'd been asleep and I was I was pottering around and I came in and I looked at her and I was just looking at her and she opened her eyes saw I was there and smiled and that was the most wonderful moment it really was yeah, you know it's, it's when that something like that happens and like when they say I love you too or I love you mummy it makes everything you've gone through to get to that point worthwhile so the pain and the gestational diabetes and all that stuff and it was painful I was very uncomfortable because I got she was lying when uh, I was they were trying to get me induced in such a way that she was on my bladder but I couldn't go to the toilet so she was like stopping it from releasing <laughs> so I hadn't been to the toilet all day I was in absolute agony so he drained they had to drain my bladder I know it's not a very nice thing to talk about but they had to drain it and then about uh, 40 minutes later I was in the same agony and they said oh my god yeah so they put a catheter in there and they gave me pethidin to help me sleep that night it's not the best night's sleep I've ever had but you know they kept the catheter in while I was in labour and everything but as soon as she was out as soon as she was out, I could go to the toilet again without it. So it was obviously where she was lying. She was cutting off my bladder from being able to release. So while I was desperate to go, I couldn't. But yeah, Peth had a nice night's sleep. They did say though, if you wake up in the night, it, you won't go off as easy. But I did. I did go off just as easy. It was lovely. But I'm not going to have another baby just to get that. <laughs> I'm too old now. Too old for another one. I'll be 11 and up to 47 in June, so... It's hard getting up off the floor when I'm doing something with her down on the floor. Or I'm kneeling on the floor in the bathroom while she's going to the toilet because she will not use the little potty and she will not use the, the seat. She wants to sit on the big seat. And, of course, I sit on the floor to help her up and down and I'm struggling to get up. I need to lose some weight and get fitter. Paul's trying to lose weight at the moment so we'll be trying to do some more walking and stuff. Of course as soon as you decide to do this you know you get a spate of such bad weather you can't do anything. Nearly finished with these spots now. I do know where my pastels are they're just down on the floor by my feet. They don't keep everything on the shelf underneath the, the desk because it'll get too heavy and it'll break. Um, but it's, it's fine at the moment. It's not bad bowing or anything, so it's fine. Um. Yeah. There we go. So that's that bit done. There's still loads to do. We're well over, well, we're over 40 minutes. So I'll just zoom out so you can see how much we've done wrong way. So we haven't done much. We've only done her skirt belt, tie and her skin. And uh, next time we'll finish her off and her bag, her, her jumper and her hair and face. And then obviously I'll do some pencil shading on it later. And then we'll do the, the door. And then I think the bricks we'll just do with the uh, tricolours the coin or ones that I've got. I've got the brick ones that look like bricks so but I hope you've enjoyed this kind of chat. I hopefully it won't be as long until next one. I'm gonna really try not to leave it as long next time. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. So bye everybody. Bye bye.